Let's go straight to the point. I'm going to talk about three things in this video. First is the Scrum Guide 2020. Still the latest version of the Scrum Guide, officially latest version of the Scrum Guide. Second, I'm going to talk about recent updates to the Scrum Guide. And third, why I believe we'll get another version of the Scrum Guide soon. Before recording this video, I made a quick search online. Just googled latest version of the Scrum Guide, Scrum Guide 2024, and find the website that you're seeing on the screen right now. It seems that there's been the latest version of the Scrum Guide, the Scrum Guide that was released in 2024. Also this, what you're seeing on the screen, a LinkedIn post. People claiming that there's been a new version of a Scrum Guide in 2024. It's fake, completely fake. The latest, officially latest version of a Scrum Guide is still the Scrum Guide 2020. Yeah, it's sad. It's extremely sad. Four years already, especially in software development, in the complex environment we live in. All these sites, all these people that claim that there's a latest version, a new version, a 2024 version, completely false. But still, there's a high chance that there will be a new version later this year. More on that later. I just want to quickly talk about less large-scale Scrum, not officially affiliated with Scrum.org, the producers of the Scrum Guide, but still strongly influenced by it. Less is a way to scale Scrum for multiple teams working on the same product. Multiple Scrum teams working on the same product. Obviously, it's not affiliated with Scrum.org, but many people use it to scale Scrum. Now, strangely enough, Less this year, in July, has released a new version of a Scrum Guide. I really don't get it. I pasted the link to this new version in the description of this video. You can read it later, but I don't get it. Why would they even release a new version of a Scrum Guide? They are not even affiliated with Scrum.org. It doesn't make any sense, and I would ignore it completely. Maybe if you're using the less framework, yeah, you can use it. But again, why? No one is saying that you can't release your own guide for scaling Scrum, but don't call it the Scrum Guide. It's confusing. There's already a Scrum Guide, the latest version, the 2020 version by Scrum.org. You can't produce a new version and still call it the Scrum Guide. It's confusing. Don't do it. So people watching this video now, ignore it completely. Go back to the 2020 version if you want to use Scrum. Obviously, if you want to scale and use less, follow the less framework, but else, Scrum Guide 2020, still the latest version. Now, it's been four years, and there's a high chance that there will be another Scrum Guide this year. The latest version, the 2020 version, previous version, 2017. Seems that Scrum, the Scrum Guide is usually released every two to three years. It's been four years already. Four years already. There's some rumors that the authors of a Scrum Guide are currently working on a new version. The community is talking about it. A lot of feedback since the old version. Four years already, tons of feedback, tons of areas of improvement, which we'll talk about later on in this video. What I believe will be included in the latest version or in the new version of a Scrum Guide. But my point here is that things are changing rapidly. We are in a complex environment. In software development, we can't wait for four years to get a Scrum Guide. Even with AI now, simple example, what changed? How did AI impact Scrum? Everyone was impacted, that's Scrum. And for me, the last reason why I believe that there will be a Scrum Guide soon, financial reason. You make more money, everyone will rush to do their certification. There's a lot of money to be made. The industry is waiting for that. Four years is a lot. It's a bit slow right now. People are not really believing in Scrum. They're not really believing in agility. There needs to be something new. Something new that people rush on, something trendy. And I believe this something new should be the Scrum Guide 2025. Now, what do I believe should be included in this new version? For me, it's simple. First, accountabilities. It started with Scrum roles, or the owner, Scrum Master, Developer. Now it's accountabilities in the 2020 version of the guide. I mean, we need a bit more clarity on. Where are all the clear lines between product owner, scrum master, developer? All details on these accountabilities. 
Some people are even still believing that the Scrum Master is a role. So it didn't stick really with the term accountability. They believe that for like, oh no, it's a role. It's not an accountability. It didn't stick. We need more clarity. We need to define clearly what it means to be a product owner as from master so that we don't step on each other's toes. Second, the customer value. I really like Scrum because you're expected to release a workable increment every single sprint. It's always a workable increment. It's all about delivery. It's all about early delivery. I would focus more on value. The highest priority, agile principle number one of a manifesto, the highest priority is to satisfy the customer. I would go back on that. I would write a whole scrum guide around that. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer. And we do it through early delivery, yeah? But our highest priority is to satisfy the customer. I feel that there needs to be more focus on our highest priority, on satisfying the customer in the new version of a scrum guide. The next thing I want is the integration with new technologies. Continuous deployment, DevOps, AI, so many things are changing. We can't wait for years. <laughs> we need a version right now, and a version every year, maybe a version every six months to guide us on how to integrate or use Scrum with these new technologies popping up effectively. I understand that Scrum is non-prescriptive, but I would want more things with regards to self-organization, self-management, collaboration, increasing team morale, empowering the team members, motivating them. I want more on this. How do we do this? Some practices that work. That's the daily Scrum, right? Something that you need to do every single day to plan as a team, to share progress, to answer the question, are we progressing successfully towards the spring goal? It's a practice that works. Everyone uses it. Can there be another practice or something that will improve team morale, empower people, make people more self-managed? Think about it. And the last thing I believe should be included in the Scrum Guide 2025. Let's hope so. Scaling. All about scaling. Forget less. Forget about all these other scaling framework. We need to take ownership of that. Yeah, take ownership of that. Let's just update the Scrum Guide 2020 with a 2024 version. Why not do the same thing? Why not take control of scaling? You are the official version of Scrum Guide at least Scrum.org. Release the scaling part. Teach us how to do it. Guide us on how to do it. Now, all this being said, uh, Honestly, I don't really believe we need another guide. For me, it's simple. Talk to your customers. Highest priority, focus on the customers. Continuously improve. Release early, frequently. Ask feedback to your customers. Continuously improve. Release early, release frequently. Create a psychologically safe environment in the team. Empower people, self-managed, self-organized, reflect, retrospectives, inspect, adapt, talk to your customers, read it frequently, get feedback, <laughs> and use the same inspect and adapt with all the other things that you do in the team. If you believe a daily scrum is good, you keep doing it, else you improve it because you focus on the goal. What's the goal? Talking about progress towards the sprint goal. If you have a better way of doing it, forget about the daily scrum. Do it another way. We don't need a scrum guide. We need to go back to the customer, to the team, to people, empowering people, building an environment where they are safe and can feel motivated and can feel valued. And I don't believe a scrum guide 2025 will do that for us. We need more. We need something else. Maybe if something else will come in the next video. <laughs> but for now, click on the video that stands out the most on the screen right now. And I'll see you in a few seconds.